guys in this video i'll be showing you how to carry out area computation using the area survey functionality on survey master it is also important to note that while doing all this the controller must be connected to your receiver for the purpose of this video we have only illustrated the steps to be followed using your controller Okay guys, so we are on our Survey Master Home interface and to carry out area computation, the first thing you're going to do is to go over um, to the Survey tab and you click on um, Area Survey. Yes, then as you can see on the um, map interface, uh, our current location, our current position is being displayed. You can see where we are at currently. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in so I can see more clearly. Uh, yeah, so um, what we are going to do is to start taking um, measurements of the extents of the boundaries of the figure we want to measure. So take the first position P1 here, and then we can go over to the second point, that's P2, and take another measurement there. Okay, that's done. Then we go to the um, third location, P3, and we take our measurements. Then we head on to the last position. I'm just zooming a bit so you can see. Go to the last position, uh, P4, and we are there. So we take our measurements here. So that being done, uh, you're going to click on the calc icon there on the right corner of the screen, top right corner of the screen and uh, when you click that, it's going to show you, as you can see, this is the results, the area of the enclosed figure we just measured. Uh, this is it. So now that you have your results, you can save it. Uh, if you click on save here. Uh, it's going to take you to an interface where you can input your preferred name and also the default parts for export option to share it. There's a, a pre another video we've made where we taught how to share your data from the field. So you can use that option. If you haven't watched that video, check the video out. Now for the second method of doing this, um, you're going to use the traditional method of going to uh, your topo survey on your survey tab. And you're going to traditionally pick points of the uh, of the parts you want to measure. So uh, let me uh, take uh, a couple of measurements here. So I'm zooming in so you can see this one on display. These points on display here are the previous points we measured from the uh, previous survey. So we're just going to measure new points now. So take the first our uh, first points and let me P5. We go over to the next one, P6. Uh, let's go over to the next point, P6. And we are there, we'll take our measurement. We'll go to the next point, P7. So I'm just going to cover a wider range of uh, areas so that we can see a difference in the uh, area cotton. So go to uh, P9 and next point. Take a measurement. Now we'll go to our last point, P10. And take our final measurements. Let's take that. Now that being done, we have a new figure. And to uh, simply uh, do a uh, computation or area computation on this. We go back to area survey, uh, area survey, and uh, we are going to just uh, click on points. And as you can see, here, these are the previous points we measured. We don't want them, so what we are going to do is to um, delete them. Let's let's delete them. So we select all those points. Select all the points you previously measured and delete them. Now you're going to click on library choose and take you to element store 
and you click on the new points you um, the new points you measured p10 p9 p8 p7 p6 and p5 as you can see they are out there then you are going to click on compute so you can see the results are displayed on the screen so you can see the new area uh, you can save this so let's name that area condition too and you click ok you can also share this too yeah so um, that's that's it that's it guys that's basically how you do uh, area computation um, using these two methods using uh, taking it straight directly from the area survey um, tab or taking the points from your element store thank you thanks guys for sticking with us um, if you like the video please do well to drop a like and a comment on what you'd like to see in our subsequent videos also don't forget to share please be kind enough to follow us on our different um, social media platforms see you next time